pressure becomes, you know, becomes something else. And then before you know it, they are in the bedroom and then they will just slump. And then you hear the man has died. The man has gone. And they say, oh, hey, God, understand. It's the will of God. It's never the will of God in many of those things that people call the will of God. It is not. Sometimes these are self-inflicted issues. Let's see it now in Isaiah 26. I'm reading verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Thou, O God, will keep him in perfect peace. Whose hand stayed on thee, for he trusted in thee. Whose hand stayed on thee. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me? Yes, it's where I've come back. Okay. Okay. So I want to pray this morning, as many homes that are not experiencing peace, as many homes that there is trouble in, pandemonium, I want to cry unto God that God in his infinite mercy will bring mm -hmm. peace to such homes. Shall we open our mouths and pray? We need peace. We need peace. So serious one at that. We need peace. Great one at that. We need peace. You are the person to that stand in your God. In our different homes, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. Shall no forces bright and money side that Lord that word that is and that is to come. Jova shall my Jova and see Jova Sukemi Jova Shada. Oh Lord Father, we pray in every trouble, oh Father Lord. Let that be peace in Jesus' name. For in the name of Jesus, sir. For you are never for this to peace, you are the peace for peace. Any any family. Let the Lord bring peace. As you do I am asking you, my Father, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. Many homes that are not experiencing the peace of God, let the Lord bring peace in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God, amen. Who wants to pray? Sometimes the reason why there's no peace in the home could be because of the illness of the husband. Maybe the husband is not fine. And then they keep spending on the husband. And as a result of that, all the resources are just going. I, I know a family in Abuja and the, yes, a Christian home. For how many years now, the man had been battling with kidney issue kidney issue and he has spent a lot millions of naira they have spent a lot a lot of money and you see things like that terminal diseases and sicknesses and all of that and you see it will make the wife the husband if it's the husband that is experiencing it the wife will have to be running that task at that and sometimes she may not be able to even concentrate as expected. And that can affect the peace of the home. Want to pray as many husbands or wives who are ill, who are not fine, either among us here or as many that we know anywhere. Let God in his infinite mercy bring peace to some in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord heal the man. Let the Let Lord heal the wife. Let the Lord, Lord heal the man. Let's Let pray. Supernatural healing. Supernatural healing. Supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Healing. Let your Lord, let your healing, Father Lord, take place in the life of this one, so Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says you sent your word unto them, and your word will let them and save them from their destruction. Lord, I send the word of healing and deliverance unto as many who are sick now, O Lord, that you will heal them in the name of Jesus. Bible says by the anointing. Every yoke shall be broken in the name of Jesus. We command every yoke of sickness, of infirmity, O Lord, Lord, to be broken to, to, in the life of all these children in the name of Jesus. Amen. As many men who are bedridden, they 
they cannot do anything. They are almost becoming uh, like what you were referred to as an invalid. They cannot help themselves. They cannot do anything. They have to be carried to the to the restroom. They have to be carried anywhere. Everywhere is just in a standstill. I'm telling you, such a home. Even the children will be sorrowful. The wife will be sorrowful. And if it's the wife, the husband will be sorrowful. We want to pray that the supernatural hand of God shall come upon these people. They will rise up. God will deliver them. Do you know God has a prayer? Yes. I can tell you God has a prayer. I can tell you God has a prayer. Shall we pray? That son of our sister in in in, in Okele too as a point of contact to as many that are bedridden, oh Lord and Father, your hand of miracle will touch them in thy name of Jesus. Sir. And they will be Father, saved, we oh come Lord. before your throne of mercy. Yes, we adore your name yes, for the great things the you do in life, people. We pray that your hand will be upon your people, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we lift up. Let our Lord, in the life of us, many of our children, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes is the sometime is the children. I watch my wife sometimes when the children are not too strong, maybe just a minor, not serious something, just a minor, maybe oh they don't want to eat. Just come on, they don't want to eat. My wife can a little bit ah, uh -uh. she'll be wondering, like I I'm talking about mothers now. You you see, they become they will find a way. Oh dear, let's go and get this thing for these children. Uh, let's go and get ah. Uh, and let's go and get this, let's go and get that, and all of that. And then you, you, and then if the, if the thing is not improving, you see how the, the more, I'm talking, I'm not just talking of just uh, all these Okweke women, I'm talking of real mothers, I'm talking of mothers who have the quality of mothers. And then you see they become so disturbed. And then you can even discover that even the, the, the mother, uh, our real mothers now, even to eat, they are not the ones cynical. Even to it become an issue. They are bothered. They are disturbed. They are bothering and all of that for their children. And the men are also running up and down and all that. But particularly the mothers, the women who want to pray. Can you imagine if you can become so bothered about your own children like that? How about <laughs> God? How do you think God care about us? How do you think God care about His own? How do you think? No wonder Hebrew chapter two. I was told in that verse. Uh, verse uh, 15, yeah. chapter 4, verse 15. For we have not an high priest, which cannot yes. be taught the feelings yes. of our infirmity. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 18, in that he was tempted, is able to succor those who are tempted also. No wonder we are told to come to the throne of grace and ask. And yes. this is the time of need. And that's why we want to ask. We want to pray. As many old children are ill and they are going through it, Lord, the children are not fine, or there is an attack on the children. We want to pray that there will be supernatural deliverance on the children. The Lord will heal them. The Lord will deliver the children. The Lord will set the children free. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we all our children to your hands, we pray that your hand will be upon them. What? You are the Lord that he has taught. Most times the children can never say, this is what or what that is wrong with me. But you are God, O oh Lord, you know everything. We pray that you will touch these children and do wonders in their lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, we Commit, oh Lord, uh, house, oh dear Lord, into your hand. We pray for you to do wonders in our lives and families, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Something, something, something happened. Yeah, that was about three three weeks ago. I got a call from a friend who happened to be a tutor too, and he was telling me of one of his brilliant uh, students who 
was to go and write uh, post me in Uniben, how he was afflicted with something. I mean, the girl was running crazy. She became insane. Like, ah. And I told her, I told him, okay, so I will call him, but let me recharge my phone. And I'm sharing it as a testimony now of the mercy of God that was shown on this girl. And so I got my, I didn't have to go to their house because I knew that power can be transmitted through phone. I, I, after all, mm. we're not even seeing one another now. And we can mm. pray here that power can be transmitted to Germany, to US and any part of the world. Mm -hmm. So oh, I will not have to be there physically before God will do what he wants to do. And so I said, okay, let's pray. So by the time I, he was with the family, the father and the mother, so I could hear the girl now that she was insane already because how, how, do, how, how do I mean? If I'm saying in Jesus' name and I'm, I'm because I was quoting scriptures upon scripture, at a point the girl will be repeating what I'm saying. I'll be making jest. I'll be making jest. After some time, I didn't hear her talking and repeating after me and be shouting and be because she was shouting and screaming and a brilliant child, a brilliant child, not deeper life girl, a brilliant child. But this was a girl who refused to cooperate in my parties. This was a girl who told my friend, she wasn't my student, my friend's student, and they, that she would not do my, she even had A1 in mathematics, she, very sound. So whether they wanted to attack her and destroy her, I cannot understand. And then while the prayer was going on, I discovered after some time, I was not hearing her voice anymore. To cut a long story short, but then a few days after, this girl became perfectly okay. In fact, for the first time in her life, she would yeah, chat me you. on for the first time in her life. She chatted me on her own on WhatsApp and all of that. And she went to write that post to me in Unibank. And even though, yes, yeah, she was taken to the hospital, but God intervened in her case as I prayed. And then my friend over there too prayed. So, uh, but the point is that the parents were restless. The parents mm -hmm. were restless. So that's the thing. So when there's a sickness in the home, an attack in the home, the parents cannot be laughing and playing. We want to pray. Whatever situation had made anyone to be restless. Mm -hmm. The God of mm -hmm. heaven bring solely peace to that home. Shall we pray? come before your throne of mercy this morning and we pray for all of our output any situation that want to come and make the parents or the children restless father we pray you take it away oh lord in jesus name i've come on side even before we pray you already know now if if there are women, if there are women here, I want them to understand something. And uh, mm -hmm. we, I, I wish our wives, I wish the women too, will be joining the prayer. Now, in the world generally now, there are there are women who don't understand how the psychology of the men play out. And so in an economy like this that is already um, affecting i'm talking of rational men i'm talking of men who know the value of the home i'm talking of because they are every man are not rational and they so i'm talking of men who value their wives and children i'm talking of men who will be out there to give the best to their family and mm -hmm. then what you have so if you have such a man as a woman you want to be seriously praying for that man because sometimes yes. they cannot even cry out the way women will cry out. And generally, the society tends to believe the, the women more than even the narrative of the men. And so you find many widows because the men tend to die first most of the time. When you come to my region here, my state here, when they organize widows program, and I was there, I, 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 I think I was at the state headquarter that day. And uh, and uh, we do and we do. Uh, sorry, we do and we do. Uh, yes, and I saw 
the 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 widows that uh, the widow uh uh uh-uh. so it's like the ratio eh? the ratio is like 80 to 20. you know we understand that in mathematics or is it 90 to 10 say like the crowd of women and then you are seeing scanty men scanty men scanty men scanty men obviously you have more of widows than widow and you find men many times they hide their trouble they hide their problem they are and they, there are women who are irrational without understanding that this man is covering a lot of pain within. They will not be adding to it again, adding to the words they speak, adding to the demand they make. For example, a woman knows that the man does not have now. He knows, she knows. Oh, my husband is a killing man, but this time he does not have. Huh. And hmm. yet, she will be hmm. making a funny demand. And you know when a man does not have, I mean rational men, I mean sensible men, when they don't have, naturally there is a pain in their heart. I speak by experience. I speak by experience now. When I don't have money, proper money at a time to take care as I'm supposed to take care, you don't need to tell me, even me, I'll be feeling the pain on my own first, on my own. So coming to now add, thank God I didn't marry such person. I didn't marry such person. Who, this one understand me perfectly. Yeah, this is somebody who has been sacrificing. This is somebody who has been giving his best. This is somebody who can almost he can almost go hungry and make sure that we are okay. But at this time now, he has expended so much, and there's no so much on Ghana and all of that. So she will not even make demand. She will not even talk. Even if she wants to make, there's a way she will put it. You are not under pressure. But there are no some women will just hit it, and then by the time they hit it, the man is thinking, the man is thinking, and before you know, it, the man begins to see himself as a failure. He begins to see himself as incapable. Before you say, before you know, the same man has high blood pressure. Before you know, the same man has that attack. Before you say, it's, a, it's the will of God. It's the will of God. <laughs> God understands it's the will of God. It is not the will of God. Yeah. Anything. It is not yeah. the. Will of God. At all. We want to pray for our wives. That hmm. the God of heaven, you see, when you read that scripture very well, uh, in that first Peter, the Bible talks about uh, Sarah. Sarah, the way she understood her husband, eh, I don't know how they did it all, because when those angels, actually God was among the angels, when they visited, the way Abraham just went to the wife and, and just instructed and commanded, in fact, not command, it's not just instructed, he commanded, we are going to do the Google, 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 Google. You will, you will understand that that home was actually peaceful. That home was actually peaceful. There was peace in that home. There was unity. Because in the space of time, food was ready. Everything was ready. And they were able to serve the visitor. I want to pray in the name of Jesus, as many women, either pastor wife that we know, either pastor wife, I, there are pastor wife, I am very sorry, who act in a very irrational, even some of the pastor will be praying and say, oh God, deliver me from this bondage. Deliver me from this bondage. Deliver me. Because you'll be wondering, who is teaching this woman the way she talks? She watch it in movie. She watch it in this. She, she, she read all this nonsense that they post on social media. Don't, don't give your husband nonsense. Like this. Don't take shit from your husband. Don't take shit from me. And they are trying to come and import what they learn. Nonsense they learn on the social media and bring it home. Thereby causing trouble for themselves. We want to pray our women will not be women of Belia. Mm, our women yeah. who follow Sarah, Father, our women, 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 women who follow the Bible, our, our women who the Bible, our women who follow 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 Father, we will grant unto them, O Lord, in Jesus' name. O Lord, God, in heaven, you have commanded us in the world that you keep us from the world. Father, we will pray, O Lord, that you have our fathers, our mothers, our wives, more than this, to keep themselves on the world so that they will not be corrupted with what you see in social media. That will not be corrupted with what you see in social media. To America in the UK, all of us pray for them to remain. Amen. I pray you are ready. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Pray. Pray. Men, please, men who are here, you are never, never a mistake. You may have made mistakes. To make mistakes is different from being a mistake yourself. Many men see themselves as a failure, as a mistake, when they are not able to uh, provide as expected for their family. And so in the bid of trying to prove something, they begin to work so much hard and no rest. Uh, for the men who are here, fathers who are here, please, I beg you, don't prove anything and kill yourself young. You have family. Don't try to prove anything to your family. Your family should know you. They should. If you're a loving husband, your wife will know. If you're a loving husband, I'm saying it again, your wife will know. Your wife will know exactly that you are. there is nothing to prove. It's in the world that you are, somebody is trying to prove. I will show this woman that uh, I'm not this. There's nothing to don't prove anything. And then you are walking and walking, no rest. You are walking and walking. You want to just prove that you can make this thing. You can do this thing. You can do without this one. You can do without. There's nothing to prove anything. Jesus has proved all. When he died on the cross, he has proved it all. You are not trying to show your words before anyone. Our word is defined by God. Our, our validation is not to be made by men. We are not people's addicts. It is not what they say about all. Oh, oh, that man, eh? you know, people provide for it. That's rubbish from them. God sees our heart. God knows our heart. No, this year, for example, this year, for example, God has been faithful. I've shared several testimony on this platform. Pastor Peter is aware of that. And they, but also this year, I did not tell us on this platform how my younger brother was arrested and I spent a lot of money. I mean, I spent money. And then I had to, I had to release him and all of that. I didn't tell. I Single one, the whole family, the whole entire family, because they had to be calling me because it was involved money, so they had to call you me, and uh, I had to pay you know, no father, no mother, who will they call? Nobody around, no even the one that are around cannot help. So I had to pick it up myself, and then at a point again, uh, somebody that was close to me, and then going into my wallet, go, cutting away with my dollar and all of that, with my uh, online dollar that I'm using for my crypto and all that, and God wanted me to still forgive him and let go, and I had to do that. You know, sometimes when people preach forgiveness, they see they think it's, it's, uh, it is the way it is when it really hits you. And I have to let go without collecting a dime from that person. I have to let all of this thing happen. Different losses here and there. But do you know what God did? Brethren, please let's hear this. Do you know what? God literally compensated. Those losses mm. had been recovered. So financial. Amen. Amen. I am not joking. I'm telling you what has happened now. So financial. Mm. And it came without struggle. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing to prove. It came without struggle. I am telling you the truth. I, as I am now, I am a happy man. I am telling you, it came without struggle. It came without trying to prove anything. Trying to God just know that this young man, you have tried. This young man, you have you have you have been showing concern for other. Let me smile on you. Let me do it for you. There's nothing to prove. Fathers who are here, don't get yourself entangled and and then you want to do ten jobs. You want to do different jobs. You you no rest no. And then before mm. you know, they say it's slum and die. Mm. you will not die in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Have you, you we watch over your soul? We want to pray for our Amen. home. As many of who are struggling in the name of Jesus, the God mm. of heaven, we say, I speak for my heart. I speak with the
to understand the one man is a crucial time, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, to help us, oh Lord, help me as a wife, oh Lord, to play my part, to do the will of the week, to please you in the of my husband and my children and my household in Jesus' name. Make me a virtuous woman in the name of Jesus. And your name only will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, name we pray. Amen. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Um, all of the things I usually lead most times, I, I, I don't usually write prayer requests down most time. Most time, it's as it comes, I lead. It's as it comes, I lead. And when I, if I'm hitting a particular point in particular morning prayer, please, it is not that, oh, why is he talking like this? I will not have regret because it was not what I planned. And I know this is a message the Lord will want to pass. I have a message for our, our women here. Take care of your husband. Now, take care of him. For our men who are here, take care of your wife. Yes, take care of your wife. Have you realized something? Have you realized something? That when the husband is terribly sick, now, many times, everyone with the sad, I'm telling you the truth, whether deeper life or not deeper life, everyone will not be there with you 24 hours. Only the woman will be with you. Mm -hmm. How you take care of the woman now that you are LD with cell on the day you become incapacitated? This one is not, because what you sow, you reap. If you don't take care of that home now, at the time you want to be taken care of, it may to be too late. Mm -hmm. Now, there are there are absent fathers, and that's why we have a lot of hooligans and vagabonds, uh, so-called, that mm -hmm. even children born in deeper life now, going into Yahoo Yahoo, going into all sort of atrocity, uh, you would think mm -hmm. they, they never have been to church before. Yeah, no, they were born in church. They, they grew up in church. But there was no impact whatsoever from the home. We want to be present. We don't want to be absent fathers. We don't want a situation where our children do not have emotional attachment. And then all that we do. And I'm sorry, pastors and leaders who are here, we will not marry church and not marry our home. Let me tell you what I'm yeah. doing now. I have cut off some things. I have cut off some activity. And I, I don't care... Somebody will say, oh, he's not committed again. Uh, I, we used to know that pastor. Uh, it's no validation of people, though. There are men who are looking yes. for validation of people. Yes. Uh, he's a spiritual man. He, he attends all meetings. For example, I'm a pastor here. I'm also a youth leader. I'm also the group youth, uh, group media leader. The one in charge of media. I'm also the group he follow ah. up from the old group. And, and then, meeting here, meeting here, meeting here. I have to see that you're me, and you have a program, you are still running in school. You have to cut off. You will not die young. I have to, I have to reduce Amen. something. Meetings I show up. There are meetings. I need to take care of the family. If Amen. I cannot other people to heaven, I should be able to take my wife and children. I have to reduce some of these things. And then you find some of the children complaining. Oh, my, 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 my dad didn't love the Bible. My dad didn't love other people. But it's not here for us. It's not, I don't want, I don't, I posted on Facebook. I posted on Facebook two days ago. I don't want to be successful out there. And I'm a failure at all. I don't want people to know me. I say, oh, he's a great man. That man, when he speaks, people shiver. That man, when he talks, anointed is here. That man, oh, he's lovable. He gives to people a lot. And then they come to ask my wife, I told, I see your husband. I, 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 he, I'm, I'm going to a lot. Please pray for me. I'm going to a lot. That man is a failure. That man is a yeah. I quote it to my Bible, by scripture. That man is a failure. That the wife cannot say a truth about the man, the wife cannot testify about it. And I'm sorry if he's eating anyone. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. The truth is that we have to stay where the Bible stays. The sisters of children become misled by stranger. The, the parents were never there for the children. They were there for the congregation. They were there for visitors. They were there for stranger. But they were not there for their parents, for their own We need to record And we need to back we want to make heaven. We want our family to make heaven as well. 
We need to balance it up. Oh and so for some I don't show up. It is not disobedient. I don't have time for my, my wife. I want to be everywhere. I will not die young. Let's pray. God will give us the way to able to balance all activities of work, church, and go so that we don't become failures in our households in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, you know that you are the one that establish stand up. Jesus say we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for yet another wonderful day. First Amen. of all, I want to thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of being able to open our mouth and talk. We exalt your name for the gift of we being able to hear. We exalt your name for everything. We say glory, honor. Mm -hmm. Adoration and thanks be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, we thank you for how you led us this morning. You have shared with us wisdom from your word. We thank you for your servant that you have used. We pray, pray mm -hmm. that your wisdom will not depart from him, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Grace for us to know how to balance up things at home and the church at work. Father, I pray you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us, O Lord, to be at our best at all times for you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In this new week, O Lord, today is the first working day of the week. We come to, O Lord, into your hand. We pray that you bless all that we lay our hands upon to do, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you now we pray for families here. You said your words. That the bed does not farm, it does not sow, O oh Lord, but they never go hungry. O oh Lord, we pray that you provide for every family represented in this prayer network that will not go hungry, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Open the resources of heaven for us. Amen. As the world is becoming tighter, it's not just in Nigeria, it's everywhere in the world. Things are becoming tighter. If you listen to news, you know what is happening on the other side of the world. O oh Lord, in heaven we pray that you release your resources upon your children everywhere in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Matthew Fisher. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. My heart has been. <laughs> you can maybe I pray something again. Yeah. I want us to call on the name that oh my father give us a right mind. Whenever there's time, we need to talk to the Lord. We need to hear from the Lord. And then this is the reason why, like Pastor Yomi said, normally I don't write prayer down. Whenever we are coming, I will just be keeping to I will just be asking God, God, what do you want us to pray about? What do you want to ask? What do you want us to do? Uh, in this our uh, prayer meeting of today. And then uh, it just came to my mind. Imagine Solomon is uh, he has a lot of weight already because he was born to the David family. And every one of us we know how David was rich. Then time that time came. This man have know about the uh about the weight. You know what enjoyment is. Many mm. that we have lived in the millionaire house, or those people who are rich, you know mm. what is it? Uh, many mm. times, I'm very sorry to say this. Uh, many people that are very close to me, they say I spoil my children. Uh, mm. Unfortunately, they look at me from my own personal background. They didn't know where I've stayed in my life. I stay with a banker. I stay with industrialist. I know how they take care of their children. I know how I was used to take care of their children. So when I'm taking care of my children, many people always been surprised. That's part you are this, you are that. You are taking care of your children like this. I want us to know how Solomon was blessed. He a very rich family. And then the, the man, he now came to opportunity for Solomon to ask. That ask whatever you want. But thank God that man have a right mind states. 
instead of asking for weight, you can know that God himself was surprised mm-hmm. that this man, instead of asking for weight, instead of asking for uh, uh, money, instead of asking for uh, property, instead of asking for something, so that he can be greater than David, this man didn't ask, ask for that. He asked for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Imagine Lord. Lord was given a great opportunity. That okay, Lord, so that there won't be problem within me and you. Let us go uh, in different uh to different places. You go in the right side, I, I will go in the left side. If you go in the left side, I will go in the right side. For those people are listening to one message, Lord have opportunity to say, Abraham, after all, you are the one that brought me from this place to this place. Please, I will surrender to your will. I will surrender to your authority. Whatever you eat, I will eat like root. Whatever you drink, I will drink. Wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you stay, I will stay. But the right man is not there for Lord. He took with, uh, with, with his own sight. And we see the destruction. We can see when Abraham was called from his family, one would have been surprised that God, where do you want me to go? I've never known this place before. I've never known that place before. But because Christ, uh, the right man said of Abraham, he answered the call of Almighty God. And we see how he become Abraham blessing is mine. Huh. Nobody ever, nobody ever saying Lazarus blessing is mine. That's why there are two of them made it to the kingdom of God. You have never mm. seen anybody say Lazarus is not. Why? Because he has right mindset. Many people like that, you can see them. And when, when you study the life of David very well, you will see that whatever he chooses, when the man is not at right place, he regrets. He regretted. He will not call upon the name of the Lord. Father, ability to have a rest right yeah. one says yeah. this time i need to take step this one i don't need to this one i need to say no this one i don't need to say anything this one i, I need to say yes this one i don't need to say anything this one i need to take a step forward this time i don't need to this time i don't need i i need to i need to say at where i am this one i don't need to Call upon the Lord. Right man said it's very important in the life of everyone. Call upon the Lord. Give me a right man said, able to know when to take a step, when to withdraw. Where are you able to say yes? Where are you able to say no? Where are you able to say yes? Where are you able to say no? This is what I want. Where is Father, it? I they call Lord this is God to work right for me. Mind, Let's call up the name of the Lord. Let's call up the name of the Lord. Pray for yourself. Pray for your husband. Pray for your husband. The teacher of the Lord. A fact. The teacher of Lord, Want to do is this one? 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 Is
for your children. You see, I'm not walking the adult. Uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 but you say, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. King of kings, Father, give me a right mindset in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me a right mindset in the name of Jesus Christ. In my school, oh Lord, in the church of God, I'm leading, I'm leading, oh Lord, I pray. In my group and group of people, oh Lord, give me the right mind to do the right thing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We give you all the glory. We honor you for whom you are. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the way and the manner you have revealed your mind. Thank you for ask, uh, wanting us to pray about peace in our various homes. We know we cannot do much without peace. We cannot do much right. without peace. Thank and you. Lord, we are for peace. And the things that tend to in that peace in our home, I have also preached about it. We have manifestation of the things we have prayed about. Bring them to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we pray that you will help us to balance things up, lest we become guilty Amen. before the true God. Amen. Wisdom. The scripture talks about uh acting in wisdom the scripture talks about wisdom being the principal thing lord i pray for our men that you will help us oh god in the name of jesus to take care of our home the resources care of our home will not be lacking in our lives in jesus name amen amen we pray for our wives they will be understanding women we, we marry the Lord, we marry, we pray to you and all of that. And the goal is that both husband and wife, we want to get to heaven. We don't want to yes. go and leave our wives behind. We are praying and asking anything whatsoever that we hinder this, our ultimate goal. You will destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> There will be testimony for us this week, and as we Amen. return, share testimony to the glory of God. Amen. What you are doing for A, I shared mine, you will do for others in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, God. Let's share, the, of, let's share the grace. Let's share the grace. May the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus, of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, the love of God and the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, Amen. 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 shall follow us all the days. Of our life, and shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Good, Good morning, all. Uh, thank you, Good sir. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning, man. Good morning, sir. 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 Good morning